Oh, did that quake frighten you? Don't worry, there's no need to be afraid. Those quakes have been happening all the time lately, so um, you'll have to just ignore them for now. But that, that was no quake. An explosion? A rock falling down? Hello, what's happening up here? It's like a Japanese style village going on. Hey, what intonation was all that? The entrance to our mine, it just up and collapsed. How are we gonna make a living now? Just what's going on around here? Relax, Leo. It was one of those earthquakes again. A big enough cause an avalanche. You're just gonna punch the boulder? What are you, Chris motherfucking Rentfield? No, you didn't break it. I ain't seen something like this happen since we opened this mine a dozen or so years ago. Every day the volcano gets angry. Is this why the town was abandoned by all those years ago? We ain't right there much more just here boiling with our hands, y'all. Turn it on, wine and gear stuck up inside. Not gone it. Ma was feared this was like something sooner happened or later or something. We need a plan of action. Perhaps the sensei. The sensei? <laughs> the sensei that was Mr. Mushu? Mr. Mr. Miyagi? I don't know. Wu Manchu? No, that man is much too stubborn. Maybe I could push the boulder out of the way with the push module. How about that one? Well, don't let me get in your way, kind stranger. But our prospects ain't looking too hot. I can try it, though. Go push. Go push. Go, go push. Put it to the side. Push it to the limit. Nothing. Well, what a shame. It's no use. That boulder is rock solid. I ain't even never seen something so solid. By all of this riding on us, I'm gonna hack this boulder down to pieces with my own two hands. Just you watch. Well, in a way, ran. I mean, how's that? How are you gonna do it with your own hands if you're running away? Thanks for trying, at least. Don't you worry about Leo. I'll go calm that boy down. Uh, yeah, that didn't work. Can't get in. No, unfortunately, the pass module isn't strong enough. That boulder needs to be crushed completely, but I keep breaking my head. Should we ask him? We gotta go to the sensei. Let's talk about the sensei. There lives a man in these parts, his name is Light Sensei. We used to collaborate a long time ago, together we dug out this whole mine. I know that with his famous Stonebreaker weapon, he could easily annihilate this rock. Crush it to smithereens like Kapow! But Light Sensei left us on bad terms. We should still try asking him, right? Asking can't hurt, can it? I don't think he would let me in your near his dojo. Well, I'm not speaking with that man either. He speaks some riddles, so not it! I guess it's up to me, huh? Gotta convince him to open the mine. You'd do that for us? That would be great. In the meantime, I can try coming up with an alternative solution just in case. We'll be fine. We'll get the sensor. The dojo is up the mountain path to the west of town. Take the west gate. You can't miss it. Good luck with that old geezer. Well, I need to go and buy things first. I got sucked into this. Oh, hey. Hey, rumors have no pickaxe. Step back, please. I'm fixing to break that thing in half. And now he's gonna do nothing. Look at him. Look at him go. He's trying. Parents were hippies on a farm 50 miles away, so you grew up differently. Fair. I mean, you can't really catch them if you stay away from people. <laughs> it's like uh, people who live in uh, those small colonies on little islands when they throw spears at helicopters. Like, they don't get certain viruses, but if you walked up to them with the common cold, you'd fucking remove them. Like, they'd just drop dead. <laughs> it would not be uh, good for them. <laughs> so, note to self, if I want to get rid of Lennon, just sneeze on him. When you get older, you're also refusing OAP medications like thinner and bile balance shit. Uh, you'll shit your pants, then die in anger. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. But yeah, I get the I get the con one in the controller when when you uh, croak. I feel that's like a common thing. People wanting that. Personally, I'm like, if if I get to the point where I'm like uh, on my deathbed, I'm just gonna be like, kill me. Just just do it. <laughs> Pull the plug. <laughs> oh, what's going on up here? Oh, it's that swammy game, huh? My old man keeps dragging me all the way here just to watch all this. That you all just play competitive swammy rush. Do you guys not have phones? Swammy rush, this is where the fun begins. It's the best way to chill out after training my karma all day. While Leo is busy hacking away at that boulder, I'll use the opportunity to decimate his high score. 
That's all you gotta say? Is this where you live? You all have like a freaking arcade up above the center where you heal your team? What? Why? Why is that there? <laughs> why is that not its only little building? Eh, whatever. Why, yeah, why do you have two Taruga? That's pretty rare, right? I'm a lucky gal. I found not just one, but two of these adorable Taruga in the wild. So now I've gone next, that's my goal is to get all three starters. Think about it, how many battle researchers could say that? I started my journey with Cub Zero, so all I'm missing is Nibblegar. So how about it, give me Nibblegar for a full set? I don't have it. I can't help you, lady. I started with Cub Zero too, because I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing in the shop. Nobody's in here. Why is nobody in here? What can I even buy now? Can I buy any items? Spinner, hot spinners, nice. I don't think I have any of those, but I don't need them. Golden spinners, silver spinners, what do you? Looks recall, skill flashes. Okay, some new moves. Don't think, oh no, I do own some of these. I don't know, why can I buy extra? I can get extra, but there's no reason for me to. What I do need is revives. Ooh, I can get Phoenix. Oh, they're expensive, dude. Although I do have vouchers. All right, I have an idea. If I buy six of these, and then I buy eight of these, and then we back out, and then my five free would get me five free thingies. I'll do a 50% coupon. My five free actions are probably spent on something more expensive. We'll get 24 grand back. Beautiful. Now I have a billion revives. I have plenty of HP healing items overall, I think. The revives are the thing I'm lacking, so getting a few of those is useful. They make our team sustainable when we travel around. It helps. Uh, Fruit-wise, what do we have? When the Coromon has full HP, prevents HP from falling below one. That's not that useful. Anything else? I have a lot of Juba fruits. We'll put some bear fruits in. If I need to grind all to catch up with anything, I can use bear fruits to do it, so... They'll come in handy. For now, not so much. And we do also have the experience increasing item, which is also kind of making that irrelevant, but eh, whatever. Sure, I'll put that in there, I don't care. <laughs> Just put that in, eh. Sod it. It don't matter what berries I put in, I'm not really using them. Like, I like berries in games like this, like little items that you kind of use, but one time use is kind of a little bit annoying. I don't know. Probably get one of those. Get some extra, like, of the different uh, fruit type things. Because that did actually help us a lot on the Titan. We did a shit ton of damage with that Soppo fruit. Getting wind up, have a good night. Gonna do some manly stuff, drink beer and pass out. <laughs> so manly, dude. Drink a whiskey if you're a real man. Get some hairs on that chest. <laughs> with the mine out of operation, look, Solace will soon run out of materials to produce spinners. A spinner shortage, now that would cause chaos. Chaos? <laughs> Got gin and vodka. Eh. Gin's fine. Vodka... Eh. Tastes like pipe thinner. Or whatever it's called. I don't know. <laughs> Vodka's not fun. Whiskey's better. So wait, what's the sign say? West, Blammer and Light Dojo, right Frisia Pass to Alavi. It sounds like ice. Probably more than water. So I'm guessing we're doing fire than ice. Is this the dojo? The buildings all look the same. Vodka is tasteless. Uh, in your price range at least. Fur. That's paint thinner, not pipe thinner. <laughs> uh, good job, Brian. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have a strong taste particularly, but I, it doesn't do much for me unless it's mixed in with like something. I don't really care for it. Nice, nice whiskey. Mmm, that's what it's about. Or, you know, unless you're uh, American and you get that peanut butter stuff. Ooh, that's some good shit. Perhaps we can dig a large scale tunnel. Now wait, the ground here is too hard due to the volcano. Even drill shovels would have trouble going deep. The stone breaker seems to be the only way. How troublesome. We're gonna use a stone breaker, that's the thing the light has. A little, little floating globe there. Very nice, very fancy. More plants. They really want to give me like plenty of places to plant stuff. Yeah, sure, I'll put a, put a pomo fruit in there. Do I need a pomo fruit? Not really. So you got some Lagavulin somewhere. Lagavulin's alright. It's it's fine. I don't hate it. 
I'm trying to I, I'm trying to remember which ones I like. It's been a little while. I haven't had whiskey in a bit. It was definitely some fucking Scottish one that was beautiful. The name is escaping me. There was there was like a volume that I've tried, and there was another one. Cause it was like a little taster set. I somewhere. I think it's behind me actually somewhere. <laughs> Don't know where it is. I still have it. I haven't drunk them all, they're just little like things from Christmas. It does have good flavour. I don't know if I'm confusing it with one I didn't particularly care for, because there was like one that I liked, one that I was like, that's ah, alright, and then two that were, eh, more like smoky and nothing else really happening. So it's kinda kinda lame. I like I like depth. There was no depth in the other ones, but I don't know what to wear. I mean, it makes sense that I forgot what they were, because I didn't really care for them, so... <laughs> you don't really remember the shit you don't like, but apparently I'm just not remembering anything that was... a good few months ago now. Four months. Specifically. No, it's not great. It's not Grey Grouse or Grey Goose or whatever it's called. Or attack, yes please. Give me as much attack as I can have. I need it to make this guy useful, hopefully. I don't know. Kind of, kind of lagging behind a little bit on the effectiveness scale. I should probably, I should probably work on using Snowball a little bit, but I feel like they're all going to be fire types, so we'll see what happens on that side of things. I wonder how far away this, uh, this guy's house is. This whole dojo. I said it's up a mountain. I also wonder if I can get a Maltai here, given that guy wants one all the way back like eight years ago in the game. Oh hi, 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 Cerberus doggy. Bye, Cerberus Doggy. Oh, it's a spooky, a scary vision. Blow my special defense. Yeah, just before you die. Nice try, Hamtrian. Good job. You would, you made an attempt to beat my snowball, and it didn't happen. If I get up to the the Fire Titan next, Splash will be somewhat effective because it'll be probably at level fifty-five, right? Which means, oh fuck, I was trying to be sneaky. In this world, there's only one Purgy Master, and that's me! Libby, hit him with everything you got, don't hold him back! What? Libby? Oh, where are, are, we, are we fighting the Purgy? What's happening? Is this actually a battle? Okay, they, they only have one. They're dressed as a cat. Oh, of course. <laughs> Wait, it's actually called Libby? It's actually nicknamed? Okay. Uh... Oh, I got knocked down. You're not doing anything. Oh, you have a juba fruit, though. Lame. Lame! Missed. Hey, can we please... Look, snowball, right? I'll give you, like, an ice cube or something if you just take out the cat. You you have the perfect first move. You knock him down, you almost take him out. Yo, Ebus! How goes it? How was all the Valorant uh, the other day? Obviously, you play Valorant for, like, a thousand hours per stream. Hopefully some good games. We just beat a cat person. Libby, are you okay? No, Libby's dead. Libby Libby was useless, your cat was weak and pathetic. No worries, my faithful friend, it's not your fault. Poor Libby, getting killed by a snowball. But yeah, um, you didn't really miss much, we kind of just went off to the side. Oh, we got cat ears now to go with our rabbit ears. But we went off, off to the, the west side. I don't know how to do it. The the West Side! There you go. We get the after a shit first attempt. Um but other than that, nothing nothing particular has happened. It's good, you got your fourth A cell. I don't know what that what does that mean? What what Malaran, what does it mean? <laughs> All I know is Karamon. And apparently all I know is not being able to beat up two dogs that are, like, not even anywhere near my level, because... Snowball 2 is kind of weak. And it would be nice if you actually kind of knock them out. And beautiful 2,000 experience for those two, really? Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> Extra experience is good. 
Everyone's getting solved. Empty transcending. The user transcends its natural limits, dealing high damage and always going first. The move will fail if used consecutively. That sounds good. I want to get rid of for that, though. What, what moves do you have? Ooze armor, maybe? Yeah, sure. And this is when you kill all five of the opposing team members. Oh, okay, I get you. I get you, I get you, I get you. Fair. Four aces? As in, like, four aces in the same day, or four total like you've ever gotten? I mean, either way, that's pretty solid. You have, like, I don't know how... I, don't, I know I've seen you play, I still don't know how it works. Do you get, like, ultimate attacks, or is it just, like, a main ability thing that you get going on in that game? I have, I have no... I have no clue. <laughs> Imagine I'm like a granddad. That, that's how that's how it is for me in Valor. I'm like, I don't fucking, I don't fucking know. But I know when I play Overwatch, which is you know my my Valorant, <laughs> I sometimes have times where I just bolt and take out everybody, and it was beautiful, beautiful times. So I imagine getting an ace is the same sort of situation. Yeah, and an ult, each one's different. Ah, fair enough. Four tall ever. You got two off stream. Um, two aces in the, in the same game. Weeb, you just gotta be better on stream, and then you can actually get like brags in. <laughs> like, you know, me over here, I've got like my half potent team. Uh, that won't, no. They're, the bottom line are all potent, and that's that's special. That, that's like a 3% chance to happen. Each, each one. So they're all pretty cool. You record every match. Are you are you making like a or do you upload them to like a YouTube or or what? Speaking of Overwatch, the Overwatch two bears in like five days I think I saw, and I'm like half intrigued and half don't care. I like haven't played Overwatch in so long. I'm just like cool whatever. <laughs> I'm like over it. But I feel like I would enjoy it at the same time, I have no idea. Working on a kill compilation and we'll do ace comps as well. Fair. Have you, have you sort of, you, you say you've already started, are you, have you got a lot of that or is it sort of uh, a work in progress? Enough for me, like I'm, I'm working on a couple of videos at the moment. I say a couple, I started working on one and then wasn't happy and started working on something else and I've got to go back to the one I'm kind of like, eh, on. Because it'll be a good video in the end, but it's effort. I gotta, I gotta get the right vibe, and it's, it's a pain in the dick. <laughs> Fill up a tidy pile of vods to go through before getting your shit together. But, so a few, a few bits and bobs. To be fair, the thing I don't mind the most when it comes to editing is actually just going over all the footage and being like, okay, this is the battle keep, this is the battle bin. And then it's actually just the getting all the bits that work together together and then working from that. That's the slow part for me. Death grip, new move. Physical, final damage, sounds fun. Holds the target of death grip, instantly fainting the target if it hits. Oh, but it's got 30 accuracy. It'll hit one third of the time. I mean, that's busted good, but also, I don't want a move that never fucking hits, given Fiddly misses on like a 90 accuracy move every frickin' turn. <sighs> Fiddly. I love you, Fiddly, but when you don't hit, you sad at me. <laughs> Load. You've shaved down four or five VODs, so about seven hours of footage out of like 50. <laughs> The struggle is real. <laughs> For me, the most I've had to grind down has been like 10 hours of different games. If I do something with Coromon, which I probably will make something out of it, it's gonna be like at least about 30 hours of footage. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna really look forward to that. It's gonna be great. Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> Long, long and painful is all that will be. <laughs> so yeah, 50 hours of footage, I do not envy at all. Just takes, takes so long. Like I don't mind it taking long, but it's just like, you get to the end and then you're like, well, I gotta go over everything still. <laughs> gotta, put, gotta put all this stuff together and 
Oh boy. Edi editing's fun. <laughs> it's just self-imposed suffering, it's great. Probably just make the kill uh, compilation a progress comp instead and do small tidbits on the side. Just to get stuff out. Yeah, that, that makes sense. With it being as, as big as it is, I mean... Obviously... You, I think you want to hit like a good middle ground, and that's what I'm trying to do as, as well, is like, have a somewhat consistent amount of content to put out into the world, but at the same time, make stuff that I think is reasonably good. And so it's finding that balance of what's not going to take 10,000 years, but also what's going to be something that I, I want to put out there. It's, it's, it's a pain. <laughs> it's also funny because I upload stream VODs and they do reasonably okay. Like, I'm like, why am I putting this effort into it? <laughs> but I enjoy it and it makes me laugh. Even though it's myself, which is kind of weird. I don't have a big ego, I swear. It's a little, little ego. I just laugh at myself a lot because I'm an idiot. <laughs> anyway, may the inner fire of the Order of the Sun shine on forever. Sure. I'm guessing this might be the place we need to be. There's nothing else out here. We also haven't seen many fire types, so I'm not even sure if this is the fire type area. It looks nice and fiery. But is it fiery? I don't know. Putting up a stream bot. Eight hours of weeb uninterrupted a series. Part one of four billion. <laughs> I chop mine down to the hour mark. It makes them more like absorbable. Don't know if that's the right word to use, but like more more palpable to watch. And it's like when I did Simpsons in a room, I got like near 20 views. And I'm like, why? It's just a stream VOD. I don't understand. <laughs> And then I make like a Spyro video, it takes like three weeks for to make and it gets 25 and I'm like... Huh. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh well. Life be like that. I still, I still think that's the best thing I've made so far in my video making out of the three that I officially have out there now, but whatever. Light Sensor says that training is all about finding balance. So that means if I'm doing chores now, someday I'll be the sensor and the others will do my chores. Alright, sensor. Hello, light. How do we know this is light sensor? This could just be an old man. We No one showed us a picture of what this guy looked like, but hey, we've come for your head nonetheless. Uh, hello? You okay there, light? Light sensor is in deep meditation. Please do not disturb him. Just use the push module. Push him over. Wake him up. Oh, sorry, yeah, didn't, didn't know, dude. He's actually asleep. He really is old. He's old and asleep. Hey, wake up, dude. Oh, it seems a guest has entered our midst. Greetings. Yes, Light Sensei, I'm Blaze. I need some help. And what could an old man do for such a young person? Uh, the entrance to the mountain's blocked by a rock slide, and we need your help, dude. Come on, come on, break a bolt. I want to break it with his bare fist, like an absolute badass. The strong will forgive. The intelligent will ignore. Thus, I have already done both. <laughs> but as much as my worldly desires flare, I'm afraid I can't help you. It's okay, I'm but a young grasshopper. Do you see this bonsai place? It took years for this bonsai to grow large and sturdy. Yet... Even after its long struggle to grow and thrive, one day it will still wither. Not necessarily if you look after it, don't plants live for like forever? For me, that day has already arrived. I can no longer perform the stonebreaker technique, as was my calling. Can we get Daniel to help? Is that something we can do? Can Daniel over there do it? Hmm. My students have not been brought up for the task. One of my sc strolls through the forest, I found this sapling. It had delicate branches, but it seemed to have solid, sturdy base. I gave it a chance, and from beneath its bewildered appearance rose a beautiful bonsai. <laughs> Damn, Daniel! Look at them! No shoes! Because he's probably not wearing any. Perhaps your bark is similar to that sapling's. 
If I could pass on the stone breaker to a worthy individual before I get too old, my heart would be at peace. And then you could smash the body yourself. Oh yeah, boy, gonna gonna learn some fucking kung fu. Let's go, kung fu master. I am the grasshopper. I am the cricket. I am the mongoose. I feel like the last one don't fit, but whatever. <laughs> However, it is not so simple as that. Since you haven't finished, uh, you haven't trained in my dojo before, you must realize this training will demand your mind and body to be at its peak. I can do it, Sensei. I've watched Karate Kid, I can do it. We'll train like Rocky. We'll eat some ramen. Let's fucking go and watch some anime and I'm gonna become fucking Kung Fu Master, bitch. Yes, that is very true. Please leave some wisdom for your elders. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So we best start stepping. What are we gonna do, a fucking rhythm game? Is the onion gonna come out? Crap of the rapper here? Young one. You know where the reflex pole is stored. Can you grab it for me? Is, is it in his ass? It's gonna be in his ass, isn't it? It's gonna... Right out of there. Uh, where, 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 what? Daniel, pay attention! Even when you think nobody pays attention to you! Oh, he's gotta get the pole, okay. Apologies, how's that the reflex pole right away? Am I gonna become a stripper? Is that what's happening? Am I a stripper now? Oh, wait, well, what's this? The stone breaker is not something to be used anywhere. But when things go wrong, one needs to be capable of handling its consequences. So the first disciple you will have to master is reflexes. Daniel, give me a number. Uh, 22? 22. That is a good number as any. 22 it is, Blaze. Eh? 20, 20, 20, 20 what? 20, 20? You know what's funnier than 22? 23. You know what's funnier than 23? 24. You know what's funny than 24? 25. <laughs> you know what's funny than 25? 69. <laughs> he who thinks too much about every step he takes will always stay on one leg. If you're in the right mindset, try and give me a high five. Training will begin when our hands touch. Bro, I, I don't swing that way. Mist. Come now, I am just an old man. Hiya. You got him? Cool. Clear your mind. Focus your mind. Feel your... Use your senses. Surrender your body to the world around you, and your reflexes will increase a thousandfold. Find the pattern and timing. Clear 22 jumps. I like that movie. I... I <laughs> Tommy is very forward. I mean, yeah, he's, he's on his old hands already. Like, damn, dude, what next? We smooch him? We're gonna tickle beards? Uh, how do I jump? I don't know how to jump! Failure is the mother of success, please. I didn't know how to jump, I didn't know what was happening. Come, try again. Fortune favors the bold, please. You need to clear 22 jumps. I have to touch hands again? Alrighty, how do I jump? No one taught me to jump. Use your senses and shit. I get it, dude. Oh, okay. Oh. I got this. Parkour. I can jump. I've played hopscotch, but fuck, it's going fast. Slow down. Halt. Oh, wait, oh, slow. Wait, what? It is slowing down. No, speed up! Speed up! You're going too slow! No, slow down! Slow down again! Halt! Help! This is all going too fast, Sensei! Sensei! Help! Stop! <laughs> I cleared 22 jumps! How many do I need to do? I've done 22! Ah! Feel the burn! How many do I need to- Do I just keep going? What do I- eh. Alright, we're slowing down again. Okay. Uh, apparently I just need to do 22. Oh, my crotch! My crotch! I was trying to go- I was gonna go to 69, but sad times, I guess. Yeah, well. A score of 43. Patience is a bit bland, but its root often the sweetest. You have learned to jump. Now it may teach you how to run, in a sense. The fuck are you talking about? The next training will improve your dexterity. Meet me in the arcade hall on the top floor of Flammer's Trainer Hub. I'll race you there. What the fuck you do? He teleported. Bitch. Bitch has gone done teleport out of here. You can't just do that. I know I can do it, but I'm gonna walk because I'm training here. This is my training. I need my montage music. I need some. Come on. To the town. Running here. Running around. 
Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. Why the fuck can he teleport? I don't know. There you go. See, we're already there. Easy peasy. Everyone, hope you enjoyed that fucking shit remix. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Heal the team. And find the old man upstairs. He's gonna challenge me to an arcade game. He's a wizard, Daniel! <laughs> I'm a what? Oh, he really is just playing on the arcade machine, huh? Please, I've been expecting you! How long have you been here? <laughs> and thus, it is here that my journey ends. Wait, what? As in, you lost in the game or what? No worries, please. It's not your fault. Playing games is not about the high score, but the journey to reach that point. I know you could achieve an even higher score than I once set in your mind to do it. I read that wrong, but what? whatever the fuck, I'm old, I don't give a fuck. Well, I, I just want to play video games, damn it. This training will teach you hand-eye coordination and perseverance. A metaphor for the challenges one must face when using the Stonebreaker. I will do it. I will play video games. Disappointment only comes with giving up. Reach a score of 250. That will teach your hands to withstand the power of the Stonebreaker. Give it your greatest again and again, please. Oh, great. Huh? Oh, fuck. It's the... It's the, it's the game that you play on Google. It's the Chrome game. Why? Why do you do this to me, game? I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Why? 250, huh? Well, it's a good job my internet used to be fucking dog shite back in the day. I trained for this. Your boy knew how to handle a dinosaur and some cacti. So this is nothing. I can control a swim with the best of them. You can't beat me at this. What the hell is snakes? That's fine. The snakes don't move. Nothing moves. Nothing gets in my way. Make it faster. I've got I got the eyes. My eyes are going blurry, but I've got them. I can see. Help. I feel... I'm, I'm, why are you in the air? Do I go over them? Do I go under them? I don't know. It's all right. It's all right. We beat 250. My eyes. I can't tell what's happening anymore. My vision's blurry. I'm just... I'm just pushing the button and hoping I'm praying. There's beetles. The cat stays up in the air. That's fine. All right. It, it, oh, fuck. I can... I, I'm just good. I'm, I'm Gucci. I, I've phased out of the existence of being one with myself. I've become one with the game. I am unstoppable now. Nothing can defeat this. My eyes are the blurriest things known to mankind. I'm gonna need fucking eye surgery after this to be able to see anymore. Oh, I'm tripping. It's getting worse. It's getting faster, right? I can't even tell anymore. Oh boy. Uh, I'm still, I'm still here. I'm still alive. Okie dark. Okie dokie. It's all good. It's all good. Don't even do anything. It's all right. What the fuck? There's a wall. Oh my eyes. Oh my eyes. I can't look at anything. Ah, uh, my brain. <laughs> My brain! Ah! Uh, I don't want to try again. Leave me alone. First try, though! Now I'm gonna go vomit! But I did it! Better than the minecart game in Stardew? I don't think I've actually played the minecart game in Stardew. I've played the one where you shoot the stuff, but I've never even beaten it. There's an achievement for that, too. I've never, I've never gotten it. Never did that. Never did the minecart game either, so... Oh. It's a bitch. I can't I can believe it. The, the cowboy game's a bitch too, and so is that. My eyes are fucked. <laughs> Alright, I, I, can, I can read again. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I did it, I beat the high score. Easy peasy. Persistence always wins in the end. You continue to impress me with your progress, please. Like the tender sapling, you have strong roots hidden beneath. Is he saying I've got good hair? I don't have good hair. <laughs> but your training is not quite over yet. We must return home for the grand finale. Let's meet in front of the dojo. Wanna race again? Dude, you're gonna just fucking teleport, you dick. <laughs> My dude. You weren't just allowed to teleport. Like, oh yeah, I'll meet you at the dojo, bye! Like, you're not taking me with? Why can't I teleport with you? Bring me with, old man. Make me run around. What am I, a little errand boy? Am I a little bitch to you? Do I look like a bitch? 
Probably, I've got my towel and my bunny ears, but still. <laughs> I'm making a statement, you know. Everybody can be a Playboy Bunny if they want to be. <laughs> Even me. <laughs> Alright, Glacier this boy. They have really high defense, get him away. Nice, dude. Snowball 2 actually one-shot something, it's been a while. I'm trying to think, what? We have water type Titan at some point, so our starter will become useful sometime soon, hopefully, maybe, possibly, potentially. We can, we can trust, we can pray. <laughs> my, my starter has become the least, not, well, not the least useful, but a lot less useful when I have a giant water crab that decimates everything. It's like, oh, here's the boss. Oh, by the way, I'm just gonna one-shot the fucker out of existence and he's gonna run away. <laughs> he fears fiddly. Everybody fears fiddly. I kinda wish Moby was like the sand equivalent to uh, the fiddly. Like this fucking boy right here, he's strong. This is a strong bitch right there. 176 attack, the closest is this guy with 150 and they're just shred ass, dude. This isn't the way I need to be, I need to be down the other way. All right, old man. I've caught up. Stop teleporting. You're not allowed to gloat about victory when you teleport. That's not how that works. That That's cheating. <laughs> Finally, it seems victory is mine yet again. Quite fast for old man. He fucking teleported. It's not fast. That's cheating. It's like having a race with fucking Goku and he instant transmissions to the finish line. That's not fast. He teleported. Like, what? It is not knowing that is uh, difficult, but the doing. Yeah, but do or do not, there is no try. Yeah, take this. Some paint. Am I gonna have to paint the freaking dojo? Are you gonna? Am I just doing errands? It's all in the wrists, Blaze. Up and down, up and down. Return when the fences around the dojo are completely white. Really? <laughs> I gotta paint fences. Seriously. <laughs> this dude. <laughs> this guy is a dickhead. I gotta paint all his goddamn fences. This isn't part of the training, master. <laughs> this is live. I wanna be paid for this. Do I just have to do these fences or do I have to do like the other fences everywhere else as well? Because there's more fences up here too. Do I have to get up there and do those? Fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> you dickhead. Well, I guess this is my life now. I'm just out here painting frickin' fences. There you go. I mean, it looks nice. I'm doing a good job. I'm just like, why though? <laughs> My man should paint his own damn fences. Wax on, wax off, bunny bitch. <laughs> uh, it's all in the mind. There you go. Any more fences, master? Is that all of them? Did I paint them all? Any more fences hiding anywhere? This should be good, right? It's. It seems you've missed a spot. One must wax on, wax on again when completing such tasks. <laughs> he even says it for fuck's sake. We're over there, okay. Suck so fucking dick. <laughs> fucking douchebag. <laughs> Go paint my fences. That's your training. BS, dude. BS. I'm gonna get paint all over my towel. I'm not in the adequate attire to do this. Where have I even missed? Is all white? Is all good? I've got it all now. Oh, you have impressive fence painting skills. All right, now we can go inside for the final discipline. You must cook my food and suck my dick. <laughs> and then we will rub beards. Wait a minute, this wasn't the final training? Training? Who said it was part of your training? Not I. The fence just needed a new lick of paint is all. Washing floors. <laughs> he just he just bamboozled me, the dickhead. Get me to paint his damn fences. I hope 
the paint rubs off and I hope it rains and it, and it goes away and then you have to paint it yourself, old man, you lazy prick. <laughs> now then, give me the paint. Throw it on him. Throw the paint on him. <laughs> Let us retire inside. I know you're old, but damn, dude, you're retiring? Fret not. We are nearly there, Blaze. You've shown your competence in almost every disciple of my dojo. But now, ho 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 now, the time has come. You must face your master in a Koromon battle. Very well, Light Sensei. My Koromon and I are ready. Yeah. Oh, one should not jump to conclusions. This is no regular battle. Users of the Stone Breaker need to make wise decisions. Make them under all circumstances. You shall not only fight with Koromon you catch with my... Wait, what? I shall only fight with Kor What? Excuse me? With Koromon I catch with his special spinners? Eh? One cannot fight with empty spinners, Light Sensei. Certainly not. You must fill them yourself. Use those spinners to catch a new squad of three. You will not get the chance to train them, so strategize wisely based on the information you get on my squad. I will use a fire type, an ice type, and a water type. All are five levels higher than your squad. Okay, I guess we'll go catch the three Karmon with the spinners. I await your return, Blaze. So, he has fire, water, and ice. He has the three main types. So I need fire. I can get an electric. So I guess that'll have to do. And then I don't know what else to get. Oh, bitch! That's a pun! Let's fucking go! That's fucking... Look at the draw, dude. Let's go! Give me that doggy. I don't want to kill it though, I have to figure out how to do that without killing it. Um, look, I want the doggy, the doggy good. It's a potent one, so that's perfect. I mean, I'd rather catch it and keep it, but I don't really want the dog. I'm gonna catch it and keep it. Screw this guy's challenge, that's mine. I want it, I just want it for me. Sod the challenge. Unless I can only use his spinners, in which case, lame. See electric pound. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. I think we're fine. Thank you. Yeah, that's a that's a special coloured one. We I, I don't want to use that just against him for the sake of using it, you know. The ultimate spinner will catch any wild corn without fail. Oh nice. Cool. Uh I don't know if I get to keep them after I fired him, so I'm just gonna use a static spinner and be sad about it. A potent Coromon in the bag is always good. Extra special rare boys. I if it was a perfect, I'd have like shat myself. <laughs> but I like to check it out in the summary. No, I'm good. Give a nickname to the home dose. No, I'm good. Uh, send to Coromon storage. We're just we're just keeping that one because I can. All right, let's let's try and get another one of those dogs. But actually, you know, have it be one I'm gonna use. If I find another potent one, I'll use it, I guess, or whatever. Come on. I want the swamp thing from the cave as well. That'll be my water type, I think. Ooh, you are my fire type. Decided. If I hit him with a splash, he'll be fine. Do like 72 damage. Beautiful. And he burned me. You dickhead. All right, items. Go light sensor spinner. Don't know what's so different about it. It's a nice red. I like the color of it. But yeah, getting a fire type would be good. I don't want to view in the summary. I don't really have a choice, do I? Give a nickname. Bull. Uh, I'm not typing. Hey, let me type. Bull light. Yeah, it's like like a like a like a beer or something. <laughs> oh fucking no way! It's the one we need. We got one. We got a fire type. I need a fire type. That's the best fire type we're gonna find. There ain't no more around here. And then I want the doggy. So I need a, a big doggy, please, if preferable. Could I have? No. The light version. Bullshit. The <laughs> BS. The light version. <laughs> uh, you're not high enough level. I wonder if I use my scent thing if I could get the evolved one to show up. Hmm. I'll try it. I'll try it. Let's see. 
Valens, come on! If I use the stinky scent, the aroma, boop, should make higher level Coromon show up and I might get the evolved form of the dog and then I'd be even happier. That's exactly what I'm after, bitch. Let's go. Level 40, holy guacamole, you fool. That's a high level. If I snowball, it should live. It should be tanky enough. Beautiful. Manipulating the game to my will. I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time, man. It's good times. Get the doggy. Then we've got the thing to deal with the water tie. And then I just need something for the fire tie. And then we're all good. I don't want to check out its summary. It's fine, dude. Don't want to give it a name. Dog light. <laughs> Why not? Do dog light. <laughs> Bull light, dog light. <laughs> There's a theme going on here for some reason. It's almost as if they're the ones I'm going to use against him. Bark, bark light. All right, that's the name. I'll change it when I catch. Well, when I get it out, or whatever. Leave me alone, you weak cow. Shoo, shoo. I rarely run away from battles, but oh, I don't care about it. I want to go up to that cave. I want that water type swamp monster thing. The water type swamp monster thing is probably going to be the best thing I can get, so. Work with what I can get, you know? I don't know if I just have to go up to them with all three after I've caught them. Look like a sphinx cat. Sphinx cat? What, the. 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 three headed dog? The Cerberus? Why does, why does this not work? Why does my scent not work? This is grass. Oh, hi. Hi, froggies. I don't want a frog, dude. I don't need a frog. I want the swamp thing. Little flaming calf thing. Ah, okay, the the uh, little little cow. I can kind of, I can kind of get what you're going for. But it evolves into that big cow that we got. So it's, it's definitely more of a cow than a sphinx. <laughs> Good, we've got some potential. Lovely extra attack. A little bit of special defense. Keep that boy tanky. Everyone's leveling up, okie dokie. Sounds good. I, I I just hope... I'm hoping this doesn't go too bad for me. Because <laughs> I have no idea what these things I'm catching even are like. Hey! Beautiful. Level 36, that'll do. Sink Sky's the phallus. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? The the hairless, weird, wrinkly ones that look like ball sacks. See, if you call it a ball sack cat, I'd know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Stop licking me. What the heck's wrong with you, weirdo? Alright, Swamper. And then we... where is it? Spinner, Spinner, Light Sensor, Spinner. There you go! My team is built. We have something for water, we have something for fire, and we have something for ice. It's all good. What, what ability do you even get, dude? Big, big swampy man. Karma is water cooled, making it immune to burn. That's kind of handy, I guess. Monsoon, Poison Chomp, Sticky Saliva, what stats do you get? Uh, you're more of a special attacker and a tank. Okay. So... Monsoon makes it rain. Double Slash is physical with... Wait, all his hits? Okay, cool, cool. The only thing I'm not a fan of is Sticky Saliva. So if we replace that with Cloud Burst... Cloud Burst better than Bubble Burst? Yeah. Yeah, health link. The user shares its health with the target even though you're distributing their HP by percentage of their max HP. Hentai life. <laughs> ah. There you go. Henty light. <laughs> Problem solved. Beautiful names. <laughs> His tentacles, yep. I get it, I get it. I get what you're putting down. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh yeah, I could have got you instead of the dog, but I mean, why would I want such a weak ass bitch? Get out of here, lunasect, if that, if you, if you really want to come and try me. With your rotating asshole. 
I don't know, I still know what the deal is with that. Why does it rotate like that? What'd that butt do though? I don't like that noise it makes either. <laughs> Creepy freaking bug man. Milestone achieved, lovely. And then if I can just scooch for her pleasure. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lord. No. <laughs> Spins for her pleasure. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, you false crab. Shove off, false crab. Fiddly is the only crab here. You're a fake, a phony. You, you're, you're just a jar. You're, you're, you're half the crab. Fiddly is Fiddly is all crab. You're just a jar with a crab inside of it. In the bin. Love experience though. It's also fun because everyone just gets a million experience as well from everything. I love experience hold items. The grit. We have four, <laughs> which is like overkill. I need to rename a uh, Bork Light. I don't know if I need to take it in with my team. Like, I don't know if I have to bring it with. I imagine I don't. Where's Bork Light? There you go. So let, no, that's not Bork Light. Oh, don't I get to rename it? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I don't get to rename it. It didn't, it didn't go in here, which means I can't change the moves around either. It's you too, fuck. I only got that one opportunity to change the moves, so I guess I'm just gonna have to settle with what I've done. Oh boy. Alright, well. Time to suffer then. Oh, here we go, back to the dojo. Listen here, old man. I have a cow, a dog, and a swamp thing. <laughs> I'm ready to fight. I guess, I hope, maybe, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. With the one thing being level 40, I don't know if they're all going to be level 45 that he'll have, because we're going to be on the level of shit. He's going to kick my ass. <laughs> I'm going to die. Why can't I just use my team, man? Why can't you... I, I know it's more of a challenge, it's more interesting to do it this way, but just let me, just let me use my team. I had to do a mirror match against my own team, and that was great fun. Why can't I just do that again? More special attack for you. A billion damage. That's what we're after. If I can't get my team member in and one-shot the enemy, what's even the point? <laughs> I have no idea. It's a lot of grass. Just fart on it. Problem solved. Everything's dead. Do I have to go through much more grass? Oh, I should have used it. No, wait. I can get around here. Just kind of... Beautiful, and then run! Nice. Avoiding encounters since 1995, boy. <laughs> there you go. All right, old man. Time to fight. Time to duel. Ah, you have returned. How did you fare in your search? Yeah, I found him, dude. Let's go. Let's go, old man, you and me. Then I suppose it is time to commence the battle, please. Take your position. Ah, oh, fuck. No tricks. This is a true final test, please. The culmination of all your training. If you win, you will have what it takes to master the Stonebreaker technique. I'm scared. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, fucking great. He's got that thing. All right, get dog light in here. Why do I have to have the physical electric type? I needed the special one. <laughs> this thing has physical defense off the wazoo. It's real fun. It's real great times. Electrify, what does that do? Use a charge itself, increasing the damage of the next electric attack 1.5 times and doubling the critical hit chance. Okay, what about crunch? What do you do? Has a 25% chance to make the target bleed. It's all physical. Multi ball, is that special? All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna electrify and use multi ball. That's the best I've got. <laughs> it's special, it should hit okay. You know what I don't like? I don't like how my dog is all muscly. It's kind of weird. I know there are dogs that are muscly, but I'm just like, ooh. Holy shit, dude! All right, okay, we're cooking with gas. Dog light, kicking ass. Beautiful. Was not expecting that much damage, but sure, why not? 
You're the ice type. Uh, I mean, I could switch to the fire one. It's just a Staffordshire Terrier. Thought, thought, I don't know what that. What does, what does Scary Vision do? Can I change my moves in battle? No. Lowest special defense by two stages, but make it Cerberus. <laughs> oh, like a Pitbull Terrier? Is that a Staffordshire Terrier? I don't know. I don't know dog breeds. What's a dog? Level 45. Please don't fucking ow. Owie. Well, bye bye electric type. I mean, we didn't really need him to be alive. The only bad thing is that this guy's level 40 freaking five. We have heated horns. We have fiery breath. Special with a 15 with 10 percent chance to burn, and ignite is just a straight burn. Heated horns. Fiery breath seems the best of the moves. The pure damage. That did nothing. Oh, we burned him though. We burned him. Oh yes, glass cannon. Lower your uh, defenses. Let me stab a bitch. Load defense badly. Beautiful. We should be able to take it out, actually, because of that. I think they just set them themselves up for failure. Ow. Are we okay? Critical hit chance increase. That's fine, dude. You're dead. Increase your critical, hit, critical chance all you want. That's that is the same dog breed. Ah, okay. I guess they're just called a different thing. Because America or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, this, this is going better than I thought it would. I thought I was going to get my butt kicked, but overall, not bad. Oh, you have that little thing. It's level 31, which makes it more manageable to deal with. Can I can I burn a fire type? Is that a thing? Yep, that's a thing. I can burn a fire type. Nope, never mind. Scratch that. Didn't happen. Well, I'm going to uh, heat it horns this boy. Just to get a little bit of damage off, because Swamp Thing's going to come in and finish him off. 69! It's a technical breed term. Pitbull's like a nickname. Oh, okay. Uh, I think people only really refer to them as uh, pit bulls here, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> I love how this guy has this little little kind of furnace-looking boy, and he's losing to a cow. He's losing to some pre-cooked burger meat. Hentai like, get in there. <laughs> He's got a nice butt. <laughs> Is that weird to say? I don't know. <sighs> got that got that tentacle booty. <laughs> Moo bitch, get out my hair. Oh lord. <laughs> well that wasn't too bad actually. The student becomes the master. Sweet. I thought that was going to be way worse, but hey, didn't go too bad. Impressive. Extremely impressive. I have been bested fair and square. Blaze, you are the first to master all Stonebreaker disciplines so quickly, too. You are an example to my students. With the right mindset, anything is possible. I love how Daniel's just stood over there like, I'm not good enough, I guess. <laughs> I'm just fucking chopped liver over here. Welcome all to Blaze's Stonebreaker ceremony. Blaze, please step forward. You came to this dojo as a tender green sapling with a sturdy foundation. But you leave here as a solid tree with mighty branches. You mastered every discipline and have shown yourself worthy as my successor. As the new wielder of the Stonebreaker. I am honored, Light Sensei! Awesome! Well done! You deserve it. Yeah, boy. Totally, Daniel. I don't know who the hell these other people are, but whatever. My dear Daniel, can you grab the Stonebreaker from the safe? What? The Stonebreaker technique is in a safe? I have, I, that's my new voice, because I'm, I'm, I'm the sensei now, bitch. <laughs> yes. After a certain age, no one can rely on their body and instead can find assistance in technology. If I realized that sooner, I might have still kept in touch with Pele. Like the footballer? Anyway, what are you waiting for, Blaze? Install the module. Tremor module installed. Do I have all the modules now? The Tremor is great and powerful. It requires a capable wielder who can channel its force towards certain objects. This is what you have mastered, Blaze, perhaps even without your knowing. In your hands, it is safe to use. Why don't you try it out? Give the students a little show. 
This is gonna go bad. Gonna go to bed, no worries, Mike. Have a good sleep, Burla. Behold, students. Blaze has mastered the disciplines of Light Dojo and can now wield the Stonebreaker with ease. Does that reignite a fire in you, students? Perhaps it makes you wish to be stronger. So you best get back to training. Thank you for attending. Now you had better get going, my fully grown bonsai. That boulder won't destroy itself. That's some nice things to spice up my life with channel points. I... I am gonna use them for something. I do have ideas. I just don't know what I'd incorporate them with in streams normally, especially with not having my face. But, you know, it's a work in progress. So this, this tremor thing, huh? Seems like it'll come in handy dandy. And now I'm the master, I have a headband. I didn't ask for this headband, but I am the master now with my towel. Authentic garb is what I've got going on here. And now that we've done that and my throat feels like I'm gonna freaking die, like how do people do the old man like master voice without like losing the throat? <laughs> I need some throat lubrication going on. I need to like chug some honey or some shit. <laughs> but anyway, we have been going for a little while, which means as usual, I am gonna wrap things up. So, thank you everybody for popping by, watching at any point or anything like that.